What we're going to be discussing today is the difference between precision and accuracy. Well, let's start off with accuracy. This actually indicates how close each of the measurements are to the true value. We can represent the true value with, well, let's think about it. How about a black hole in space time on my blackboard? Now, if we were to shoot some light bolts into the, um, into the black hole, if we manage to hit the center, in other words, the true value, this would be an example of high accuracy. Example of high accuracy could be some measurements. So let's say that we make a few measurements of, let's say, the speed of light. So if we measure two measurements to be, let's say, we measure C1 to be 2.99 times 10 to the power of 8. We take C2 to be 3.01 times 10 to the 8. Let's say that both of these measurements are in meters per second. Now, these are both really accurate measurements because they're very close to the actual true value of the speed of light, which is going to assume that for this purposes of three significant figures, the true value of the speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. I know that in reality it's 2.997, etc., quite a few digits, but this is just for illustration purposes. Well, now let's have a look at precision. This actually indicates how close the measurements themselves are with respect to each other. For instance, if we were to open up another black hole in space time over here, well, if we were to do exactly the same experiment, however, we miss the target and we consistently hit at pretty similar places, however, quite far away from the target. This indicates high precision, however, low accuracy. Well, let's also illustrate that idea with an example. Once again, we're just going to assume the speed of light up to three significant figures is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. If in a hypothetical experiment, we measured the following values. So let's say that C1, our first measurement was 2.0. 50 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Our second measurement was 2.51 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And our third measurement, let's say it was exactly the same as the first one, to be 2.50 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So this over here is, um, is an example of an experiment which is quite precise but not accurate because the measured values are not close to the real values. Okay folks, hopefully this makes sense. As always, if there are any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below.